the new MotoGP season is about to get underway under the lights in Qatar. In this video we'll take a look at the Suzuki team, their bikes and their riders and try to give some idea of what we can expect from them in the 2022 championship. In total in 2022 there will be 12 teams on the grid, each running 2 bikes and 2 riders. So a very healthy grid of 24 riders and all of them should be on competitive machinery. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive into the details. Team Suzuki X-Star are continuing with the same rider lineup, 2020 MotoGP champion Juan Mir and Alex Rins, who is very fast but often crashes, drastically compromising his points tally. The bike apparently has a new paint scheme, but without standing it beside the 2021 bike, it looks the same as last year, which is no bad thing, I like the silver and blue. The GSXX RR has undergone some much needed development following a disappointing title defence campaign for Juan Mir, who complained at the lack of development of the 2021 bike. For 2022, Suzuki have brought a new engine and swing arm with updates to the chassis, aero package and some big electronic changes. One other reason touted for the lacklustre season in 2021 was the departure of team manager Davide Brivio to Formula 1 and the lack of a replacement. Suzuki have now filled that void for 2022 by hiring former Ducati and Repsol Honda man Livio Supo. He was an integral part of both those teams, winning riders titles with both of them courtesy of Casey Stoner in 2007 and 2012. Juan Mir was able to take the title in 2020 with only one win. Some would argue the shortened season and absence of Marc Marquez also helped, but whatever way you look at it, Mir was the best of the riders on the grid over the season we had and it was his consistency that ultimately won him the championship. Out of the 14 races, he finished 11 and he was on the podium for 6 of those. That's 54.5% of the races he finished on the podium, plus the race he won. In contrast, in 2021, he scored 6 podiums again, but this time finished 16 out of the 18 races ran, which is 37.5% of the races he finished, he was on the podium. And in 2021, he failed to win a race. Mia still finished 3rd in the championship last year but his disappointment with the lack of development of the Suzuki was clear. One thing we can be sure of is that Mir will be ever consistent and there or thereabouts. If Suzuki have made sufficient developments to the bike and Livio Supo can have the same impact as at Ducati and Honda, Mir is a definite contender for the crown in 2022. We will soon see if the changes Suzuki have made are enough to put Suzuki and Juan Mir back on the track to another world title and secure the former champion signature for next season as well, as he has been rumoured to be signing for for Honda. Alex Rins arguably has faster pace than Mir, but lacks consistency. In 2020, he did finish third in the championship, winning a race and not finishing just two races. Last year, however, he failed to find the finish line in five races and the podium only once, a second place at Silverstone. He has a total of three MotoGP wins, all with Suzuki, and as you can see, up until last year, he had a very good championship trajectory, finishing fifth in 2018, fourth in 2019, and third in 2020. If he can find some consistency with the new GSXX XRR, he could well outperform his teammate in 2022. But those are my thoughts, what do you think? How do you think the Suzuki riders will go this season and who is your pick for the riders championship overall in 2022? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Suzuki MotoGP team for 2022. If you did, you can click the links on screen to check out my other videos of the other manufacturers on the grid this season. Remember to subscribe for plenty more motorcycle videos to come and give the video a thumbs up if you feel like it. But whatever you do, have a great day and thanks for watching.